Hello everyone, here's another Physics 30 example set. Uh, this one is from Unit 3 Electromagnetism and this is Lesson 4. This is the hand rules, hand rules number 1 and number 2. So here we have to sketch the magnetic field around a wire. So first things first, we need to figure out what's, what's happening. Well, if this end of the wire is negative and this end is positive, that means if there's any sort of current moving through this wire, then we can think about that as an electron moving in this direction. And we know from our hand rules that if we have an electron, we're going to use our left hand and we're going to wrap our fingers around the wire or the direction of motion and then our fingers would represent the magnetic field lines just like we see with this image here. So if I rotate this to match our picture, this is my left hand, which is the electron. And now you can see that the magnetic field is going to go into the page on, on the top of the wire and out of the page on the bottom of the wire. So I can represent that if I'm able to just move this out of the way. There we go. I can represent that with crosses above because it's going to go into the page above so we think about these as an arrow the feathered tip of an arrow going into the page and then the pointy bit of the arrow coming out of the page from underneath and so this would be our magnetic field lines um, if you wanted to think about these as curves like oh um, circles going around, I guess you could represent it like this with some arrows here and then behind in front, behind, front, behind and in front like this. Hopefully that's making it a little bit more clear, but there's, there's the general idea. Okay, in the second one, B over here, this time we have a proton moving. So this is the proton, a positive charge. This is the velocity, it's moving here. We need to think about what the direction of the field, the magnetic field would be at this position here. So this time we have a positive charge. So if we're using a positive charge, we can't use our left hand, we have to use our right hand. So let me just see if I can flip this around. There we go. And so now the positive charge, and I'll have to turn it upside down like this. This is now right hand. So that there represents my right hand. Maybe I'll just make a note of this. So on this one here, we used left hand because it was a negative. And this one, we're going to use our right hand because it's a positive. Okay, so here's our right hand. Well, let's put this over the image and there you can see that the field lines are now going to come out of the page on the right side of the movement and into the page on the left side of the movement. So I can represent that once again with my dots and crosses. So just to remind myself, it's coming out of the page on this side. So these are the points of the arrowhead coming up uh, out of the page and then going into the page on this side. These are the, the feathered quills of the arrow, if you like, as they're poking into the page. And so hopefully you can see that at position A, my magnetic field direction is going to be out of the page. So here we have a solenoid situation, and this requires our second hand rule. Um, we're going to use our fingers, curling our fingers to make the electric current, and then our thumb indi will indicate the direction of the magnetic field. So um, I have here a picture of a right hand rule. This would be for a positive current flow. Um, and we're going to show that um, in this situation, our electrons are going to go from the negative, which is the small end, they're going to go from the negative to the positive. Oops, I've done that the wrong way around. Start again. 
Um, this here is the positive, this is the negative. The electrons are gonna go this way, all the way around. So they're gonna go through the wire here, 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 and here. So we could use our right hand rule, which would be the opposite way to what I've just drawn, or we could just invert this image. So let me just try and do that really quick. Let's indicate this and flip it. Let's do a mirror image. There we go. I think that's going to work. So now we have, uh, this is now a left hand. There we go. It's a left hand. The writing's all back to front, but of course the hand is not. So if I was to overlay that on top of my image here, hopefully you can see those fingers are in the right position. They are going to wrap around and give me a magnetic field that goes um, it's going to be the north here and the south here. In other words, the field is going to go this way. And the field is going to go this way. And then, of course, it's going to come all the way around and go back into the south. And this field, of course, is going to come here and so on. So how does that influence our compasses? Well, our compasses, of course, will... Um, will match or will align themselves with the fields and that's because the, the the south pole of this magnet here is going to want to be near the north okay because opposites attract and likewise over here on the right side the south pole of the compass is going to want to get towards the north and so this is the orientation of our compass on the right it's aligned with the field. This is the orientation of our compass up above. And again, it's aligned with the field.